Okay, in this video we're going to add the virtual cargo and add it to our assembly because although we don't need to build it as part of the car, it is an important part of the rules. So we're going to do a new part studio. We now have part studio 2. Good way to organize our work and keep it a little bit cleaner. So we're going to do a sketch on the top. Press P to hide my planes, N to spin around the camera, and I'm going to draw half of my virtual cargo, just a proportion for now. And then I'm going to come up to mirror, click my mirror line, and now everything I click after that will get copied over, and I'm ready to add my dimensions. So, wrong one. Try that again from the corner to the corner is 40. From the center to the center is 8. The length is 60. And I might just make this one a construction line. And I'm ready to extrude this part to a thickness of 8. Okay, there's my virtual cargo. I'm going to name it as such. Okay, back in our assembly, we're going to add in our virtual cargo from Part Studio 2. Don't worry at all about which way it's facing. What we're going to do is to lock it into the center of the car. So down the center of this part matches down the center of this part so this next operation will rotate everything the way we want it so we're going to go to planar mate and we want to get the line here and we want to click now we can see that blue line is locked but the disc is in the center now all we have to do is find another part of the car which has the same thing so the blue line is running from side to side across the car with the disc in the center and you can see that our virtual cargo is sitting in place. This would actually be a legal place for it because it would fit in there. The only trouble is that the axle holes would be going through the middle of it. So we still do need to adjust it. You can click on it here and then drag it back into place. You'll notice if we try and drag this arrow, nothing happens. It's because we've locked it on the center point for both but we can still change the forward and back position in the car and the up and down position in the car. And our virtual cargo is in place. One last thing you might like to do to test if things fit together uh, to hit the view cube menu and then go to turn section view on. You might need to click on a surface first but you can now come along and look on the inside of the part and test that everything is lining up perfectly like you would expect. By doing this here, I can see my virtual cargo is still not quite in the right position and it looks like I might have a slight overlapping issue here. So something else for me to check. First thing I will do in this view is fix my virtual cargo. Just gonna move it that tiniest bit back. When I'm happy that it fits inside, I can turn off my section view and I can go back into the part studios and fix any of the other parts that might need addressing.